Guys, look what Emma just dropped for me. They're so small and so cute. Do you want it back? Oh, no, don't want it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi. Shelly, are you making another bird video after you said you wouldn't? Maybe. For good reason though. I have received a couple of DMs this month of people saying to me, Shelly, guess what? I'm getting a cockatiel for Christmas and I'm so excited. Do you have any tips? Do you know that it's like a 15 year plus commitment? Like, do you know that they're a lot of money? Bestie, have you done your research? So I feel like it's somewhat my responsibility as a gal on the internet that has birds to sit down and tell you guys why it's a bad idea to have cockatiels under your Christmas tree this year. Or just as a gift in general, like it's not, are you right? Pets in general just don't make a good gift and I'm here to tell you why. But first, don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my content. I sometimes make bird content, but most of the time I make a lot of fun content that you should go and check out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Shelters around this time of year are bombarded with animals and that is purely because kids and uneducated people see a cute video on the internet and they go, hmm, I want one of them. They're really cute. You know, that cute animal also comes with a lot of baggage, like proper enrichment, proper nutrition, expensive food, expensive vet bills, changing your whole environment to suit this animal. But yeah, you don't think of that. You see the cute video and you go, oh my God, I want that. I could do that. So the first point I wanna make today is, what is it, Emma? Listen up. The first point that I wanna make today is that, Emma, you're looking so cute. So cute, I know, but did you know? She also needs fresh fruit and veggies. So cockatiels, they need a really good balance in their diet. They need fruit, veg, grains. They can have a little bit of seed, but the main portion of their diet should be consisted of natural pellets and God, they are not cheap. I buy like a big two kilo bag of natural pellets and it's like $40 for like the pack. My bank account, baby. I buy my fresh fruit and veg every fortnight for them. And I usually make up a chop consisting of all their favorite fruits and veggies. And I mix that with either quinoa or brown rice. And they eat that every single day. If you give a bird an all seed diet their entire life, they're gonna get fatty liver. They're gonna get so many heart problems. They're gonna get so many weight problems and they will not live a happy and fulfilled life. So now that we've talked about diets, did you know that they also need enrichment? These little beans need to be enriched with stimulation for their brain, activities, attention, and love. They can't just be left alone in the cage in the corner once you know the festivity is over you have got to give these guys enrichment for 15 plus years the amount of people that buy a bird and don't realize how much time and effort needs to go into them is so freaking sad and they just get left in the corner in their bird cage with an all seed diet and no toys and terrible perching. And they, they start questioning like, oh my God, why is my bird so unhappy? Why is it so loud? Why will it not stop screaming? Your bird is so bored. This is not furniture. <laughs> this is not a decoration. This is a whole living thing. She's got emotions. She's really sensitive. I don't know why I made this a dot point, but they need fresh water. <laughs> yes, Shelly, of course, all living things need fresh water. But it's just a reminder, just in case you didn't know that like these guys need fresh water. Their food is expensive. They are time consuming, but you know what else is so freaking harsh? The birdcage, yes. My birdcage that I've got in the corner there, I think it was about $250, $300. You know, all the toys and perches inside it were probably ranged between like 14 to 40 dollars bird toys are really expensive but sometimes you can get a bargain the cage itself it needs to be full of enrichment fueled things you know they need foraging toys they need good quality equipment like stainless steel bowls natural wooden branches no dowel perches you also need to make sure that your home is safe for birds i have a whole video here explaining all the common dangers in your house that you should look out for so many things that we have in our home that just cannot be around with these so that can be expensive as well because you're gonna have to go out and buy new pots and pans you're gonna have to go out and buy an air purifier you're going to have to go out and buy all these safe appliances now if you thought the cage and environment situation was expensive oh boy you know how like when you feel unwell you go to the doctor or you know when you 
have a dog or a cat, you make sure that there's a vet nearby, right? You need to do the same thing with these. They need to go to a bird specialist, also known as an avian vet. So it's very important when you're looking at getting a bird that there's an avian vet in the area because, you know, emergencies happen. You sometimes need to take your bird to the vet for whatever reason. The amount of times I've taken this specific bean to the vet for an emergency that wasn't even a big deal. Oh my God. I've had comments from people asking me, is an avian vet really necessary? Do you really need to go to the doctor? What kind of question is that? So yes, bestie, a avian vet is very important to have nearby. You cannot go without. It is a necessity when it comes to owning a bird. So now that we've talked about all of the expenses, time-wise and money-wise, let's also talk about the bird itself. These birds get bored very easily. They need to be stimulated constantly. They love exploring things with their beak. As any bird would, they love destroying things. So any environment they're in, they're gonna be curious. They're gonna destroy things. And it's all part of having a bird. There's no getting out of it. You see this chair here? that I've got right here, this chair. It's a $280 chair. Bite marks in it, scratch marks, poop marks. My basket back here, destroyed. Fake plants, destroyed. My book that I have on my side table to read at night, destroyed. Oh my God. I bring in mail from the mailbox and I leave it on my table for one second and it's already got bite marks in it. Like, can you stop biting no. myself? Not to mention there's poop everywhere and you're constantly cleaning up poop all the time. On the floor, in the bed, on your clothes, in your hair. The amount of mirror checks I do for myself before I leave the house to make sure there's no poop on me. I deserve an award, oh my gosh. Now, not only are they destructive, but they are loud. Like that truck driving past. Birds are very loud. As you can probably tell from this video, they have been beeping and bopping, but that's not even the worst of it. Not necessarily all the time, but when you want peace and quiet and you say you need to film a video or work on an essay or something like that, they are just beep, 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 beep constantly. And there's nothing you can do about it because that is how they communicate and that is how they express themselves. You just have to find inner peace elsewhere. <laughs> if you want a quiet pet, this is not for you. Definitely no. Let's talk about hormones. You have to go through a whole obstacle course of things to tone down these hormones or else you're in trouble. Once your cockatiel is no longer a baby and it is a teenager with raging hormones, I wish you luck. I wish you luck. I have a whole video on hormones as well that you should definitely go and check out. And my leg is falling asleep. I don't care not a care in the world. I'm hoping that this video is throwing you off on buying somebody a bird for a gift because that is just no go. No, we're not doing it. So let me put a scenario in your head and hopefully that will fix that for you. Otherwise, whew. a child sees a cute video on the internet of a cockatiel. Like, oh my God, you're printing your butthole. It's so cute. <laughs> Emma, can you like not do that right now? No. I can't take you seriously now. Like, look at this. This could convince anyone the birds are so sweet and not loud at all and so cheap to look after. Like, so cute. Oh my gosh. They go, mum and dad, I want a cocktail for Christmas, please and thank you. The mum and dad are like, mm, are you going to look after it? Are you going to feed it, give it water, play with it? The kid's like, yep, absolutely. But they're not going to do research on it. It's just the bird, right? Like, it can't be that hard to look after. The mum and dad, they go to a pet store. They buy not even the bare minimum of stuff. Hot tip, pet stores do not sell the proper things that you need for a bird. They sell the most borderline animal abuse kind of stuff. It is so bad. It's so bad. They buy whatever was there, whatever was cheapest. <gasps> You dropped a feather. You know, they buy this tiniest little cage that was like $14. And that tiny little cage comes with little plastic bowls and dow perches. They buy, you know, a little mirror because that's pretty much the only toy that they sell at pet stores. Maybe they buy some stingy little toy with a bell on it. Anyway, comes Christmas, kid unwraps the presents, kid unwraps the bird. He's like, oh my God, best day of my life. Now the thing about this bird is, most hand-raised cockatiels at pet stores are usually babies, about to be teenagers. So, you know, they're so cute and they're so fun and friendly. They're so funny, so much personality. It's like a dream. They're the best bird in the world, oh my God. Kid plays with the bird, kid loves the bird. Usually within two to six months pass and the bird is suddenly a teenager, a juvenile raging with hormones, you know? Teenage angst, baby. The bird gets angry, the bird starts biting screaming, getting hormonal. You know, things you wouldn't expect from a bird because you know, it's, it's not like it's a living creature. Hormones? Nah. The kid doesn't like the bird all of a sudden because the kid got bit 
from the bird because maybe the kid was being too rough with the bird or maybe the bird was just unhappy because it's on an all seed diet or it wasn't getting proper toys and enrichment, blah, blah, blah. It could have been anything. And now the parents are unhappy, the kid's unhappy, the bird stays in the corner in the cage because they don't want that bird out anymore. No way, it bit my son. I don't want it, no. Stays in the cage with its all seed diet and its little plastic bowls and dow perches with no proper nutrition, stimulation, enrichment, a good environment. The bird probably lives maybe five years at best and I don't think they like that story. And then suddenly the bird dies and they're like, oh my God, what happened? Like, why? That's scenario one. Scenario two is that they actually went out and do their research and they get all the proper things that a bird needs and the bird lives up until 30. And oh my God, best time ever. Third scenario, they realize they can't look after the bird. They rehome it or they give it to a shelter. That's okay. That's an okay scenario. You know, at least they didn't leave it in the cage for its whole life. But you know, shelters are overpopulated after Christmas because the exact same thing happens to all these different animals because you know people want animals as gifts apparently but they don't know how to look after said animal or worst case scenario is they let the bird out into the wild because the bird is you know it's meant to be free it's a bird you know it's it's gonna be fine out there fun little fact is domesticated birds cannot survive out in the wild if i put emma outside she'd go for a fly she'd have the time of her life for maybe like five minutes before she gets either eaten by a cat, a hawk, hit by a car. And even if she survives all those things, she would not be able to find her own food because I'm not there giving it to her. Where do I get the seeds? Hello? But those are some scenarios to put into your head to hopefully get the ball rolling with this subject because it's so bad. It is so bad. The amount of, oh. So that's why I'm always encouraging you guys to do your research, no matter how many videos you've watched, articles you've read, no matter how many questions you've asked, like you're always learning something new, but it doesn't hurt to keep doing your research. Like I know a lot about cocktails and I'm still learning stuff. So I hope this video helps to encourage you or encourage you to encourage someone else to not gift anybody an animal this Christmas or any Christmas or just any event of the year. Just don't gift an animal unless it's a mutual agreement between two people and they've done their research and you know, they're ready. They're ready for the responsibility. They're ready for the time commitment. I think that's all I had to say today. I hope this video made sense. If not, I'm so sorry, but I'm sure you kind of get the point of the video. This video was kind of a downer. You know, it wasn't the best of vibes. You guys want to pick me up, feel a little bit better about yourself. I recommend going to watch my latest video. It's so much fun. It's filled with good vibes, you know. Go and watch my latest video because it's so much fun. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can let me know that you enjoy my videos. And without further ado, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I will see you in my video on Thursday. So, ciao for now. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you